today we're going to make a 100% zombie proof unreachable AFK horde base that works from day one all the way to day 7000. No electricity, no traps, no weapons required. Not only is it incredibly easy to construct, but it is also an incredibly small horde base that absolutely crushes all difficulty levels of the game, even noob proofed. Welcome survivors. This is Eerie Knight of the Suda Posse, and in my latest base build, I challenged myself to build a base that is unreachable by zombies and make it as small as possible to withstand the strongest of hordes at the highest game stage. And this is the result. My cliffside suspended AFK horde base. Let's walk through it. Approaching the cliff's edge, we have a platform upon which our suspended base will be anchored. At the edge of the platform is a slide comprised of wedge narrow blocks, which are one of the most versatile blocks in the game. Zombies have trouble pathing across it and will slide down it very easily. Instead of having them run across the length of the slide, we are having them cross over it. They still see it as a path configured in this direction, so the idea is to have them run over it, slide down, and attempt to land on the pillar 0.025 meter half side centered block. Blocks. Due to the gap formed by placing pillar blocks in this orientation, many of the zombies will slide down through the gaps. Others that land on the pillars will fall through the other pillar gaps, and the few that make it to the hatch door will fall down when trying to beat on the door or when trying to jump up to it as the hatch is a block height above the pillars. The pole block above the hatches helps to ensure they cannot squeeze through. The bar blocks atop the poles are used to deter spiders from jumping and landing in the base. Because the base is supported by the pillar blocks and most zombies that try to reach the base fall through them, they take very little damage keeping the base afloat. Once the zombies fall down to the bottom of the valley, they will need to run all the way back up repeating the never ending loop. And because they have to travel a long distance, they will do less incidental damage to the block supporting the suspended platform. Less time trying to actively reach you means less time zombies will do an errant swing on your base. The platform that the player resides in on the other side is small for obvious reasons. We cannot support a large amount of weight by necessity. It contains the bare minimum of protection to prevent zombies from reaching you and to protect against vultures and cop -cuke. One key feature in choosing a location to construct your base is preventing zombies from being able to get underneath the anchor platform and undermining it. Here I built the base in a position where the cliff face protects the side of the anchor platform. Other characteristics you are looking for is that the cliff is relatively vertical, so zombies sliding down the wedge narrows blocks won't collect at the bottom and beat on the anchor platform suspending your base. Let me demonstrate how to build the base. This is a suitable spot that meets these general requirements, so let's begin construction. We'll start with our anchor placing cube one meter blocks. I'll add some stair pieces here to make the pathing easier for them. I don't want them to beat up on this platform. Next, we need to build a bit over the edge as the cliff face extends further out. We'll use these one meter pillar blocks to support the overhang. Next, we'll rotate the wedge narrow blocks starting with the high, the tip, and then the low. Attached to the low, we'll place our pillar blocks. I'm going to make this a bit shorter as cobblestone can support less weight. Now our suspended platform. We'll make a row of four blocks long and a second row two blocks. In front, we'll place some plate blocks for protection against cop puke. In the back, position some corner plate blocks to protect against vultures. Place two hatches on either side where the pillars meet the cube meter blocks. By the hatches, place two doors. Connected to the plate blocks in front, we attach a pull block on both sides. To cap it off, we place four plate blocks to provide roof coverage. And voila! That's it! Except it isn't. Almost forgot, we need to place two bar blocks on the top of the poles to protect against spiders. Obviously, you don't need these on early game stages before spider spawn, but it doesn't hurt to have them. And for added protection, you can block off the underside of the anchor if you feel the natural terrain does not provide enough protection. Simply adding sand is adequate. Now let's go ahead and try these out on an early horde base and a late game stage one.
Inspecting the damage here. Not really all that bad on a day 7000 horde. I'm going to try to reproduce this base to demonstrate you can build it anywhere, not just on the stupid cliff. What do you think? Stupid is, stupid does. Okay, Red Knight, I may need some help here. Like this? No, that's on the side. Like this? Yeah, that could, that could work, yep. And then put one on the other side. No, 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 no. Um, then, yeah, place it over there. Okay, now you need to rotate the pillar block in um, so that uh, it's like over here. Like that, yep. Oh, place it there. There you go. Now what you can do is you can copy the rotation of your first pillar block. Ooh. Yeah, it might not be in connected on that side or something. I'm just saying, like, this block might not be connected to anything like that side. What does this black mean? It means it doesn't know what it is yet because it's not fixed. I need to make it grand. Ooh. In order to do that, you need to support it from the bottom. Just continuing to do that isn't going to make it free. The support needs to extend all the way from ground level to there. Otherwise, Okay, next. Right. Exit stability mode. Um, what game stage board are you planning on doing? This is the early one. Early one? Okay, yeah. So you don't need to extend out too far with the pillars. I think you're probably good. So now get out to regular old cube blocks. No. Use the shape blocks. Where is the shape? Take the dev block? take the dev blocks off. None of those. Type in there. What material do you want to use? Brick or cobblestone. Alright, so type in cobblestone cobble there grab that this is so confusing to find no you're just newbie there you go two three four yep you got it do you remember there's a corner plate yep you're gonna have to rotate that bad boy it's gonna fit in the back two blocks you basically wanted to make a wall around like the left and right and right and there you go there's other oh there there you go there's that side side by you have to go around there you go another level up same thing with that, you can just copy rotation. Well, if you want to take longer, sure. It is taking way longer. There you go, okay. Now in the front, get out plate blocks, uh, put them in the front. What is for? For the other components that are attached to it. No, there you go. Do it at the same height, up to the same height as the corner. There you go. You have doors and hatches. Look at the arrow. Yeah. You want it to open in the right way. Yeah, you had it. Right here? No, you had it. You have to go back around. No, you go back around. You want, yep, yep. So test it out. Press E on it. See if it opens in the right direction. There you go. Yep, perfect. All right, same thing on the other side. Okay. Now doors. Now do wood. <laughs> yep. There you go. Okay, you're getting there. Barn. Yeah, we're good. Yep, okay. So on top. Go to your plate blocks again. There you go. Ooh, you didn't properly support the anchor, so it's gonna collapse if you place that. So the anchor is basically like the wedge area. You need to support that better because that doesn't have enough structural integrity to support that. So you see the um the bottom of like the wedge low. Just fully support that to the ground. You don't have to cover the top right, but now right? Well, early game, no, you wouldn't. Yeah. For birds. Let's just stay with it. Okay. Well then. Go back up top then, then we're going to do a little, little tweak to the design then to, okay. to get the important things in place. So get rid of that one. You can get rid of that one too, the one in the corner. Instead, put the poles in. So get up some pole blocks. Yep. You're going to place them along like the top there, connected to the front plates. So you want them to be horizontal. Like I said, you want them horizontal. That's not horizontal. There you go. No, no, but don't put it there. You had to put it up top. No. Why would you rotate it again? I already rotated before you said it. I said you already had the proper okay. orientation. Okay, yep. This? Not there though. You gotta put it up. Oh my god. You told me you <laughs> I told you you had the right rotation. You just don't place the block there. Oh. No. 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 There you go. Now you're gonna place it up there. Yep. What's this for? to prevent them from just like jumping up. That's it? That's it. Oh, let's test that. 
And it would also help to make it a bit not so foggy for the audience. How to do that? F1, weather, fog, space fog, space like 0 0.1. Yeah, enter. There you oh, go. Wow. Thank you on behalf of our audience. You're welcome. You're welcome, audience. Okay, you, you got some guy down there. You got him coming. Cool. Oh, looks like they can climb up the little ladder there. Yeah. Where are they? Hi. Oh, that's very cool. We should do that in our playthrough. We oh, could. We put that bar on, right? No, it's... Oh, you didn't put the hatches up. Yeah. It's funny, it still can work uh, without the hatches being up, but it's not a guarantee. That's just extra protection. The other one too. Yeah, Hello. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't see my boot. Don't look, everybody. <laughs> That's for eerie night eyes only. <laughs> I don't know what to say now. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> Someone's shy right now. Oh my gosh. This is so damn easy. I can't do it. Yep. If Taco can do it with some, you know, bit of instruction, then everybody can do it <laughs> without my instruction. One. This is so easy. I'm going to build a wood one for early game to show how effective it is. There you go. That's the spirit. That is the spirit. Yep. And then I'm going to build it quietly without you being around. So annoying you. Just yeah, that's pretty much it. it. Yep, so if you pick the, the proper POI, um, if you can find a POI that you could support it better and not have to build like the extra pillars at the bottom, then you pretty much can do it anywhere, anytime, with this effective design. It doesn't matter if they beat on the hatches, they're not really supporting anything. What's most important is the, the pillar blocks and the, the wedge and arrow. So everything is connected by the pillar blocks to the wedge, bo that bottom wedge and arrow. So the wedge and arrow is very important. Yeah, it's structural integrity for your floating base, along with the pillars that are connected to it. So any of those things break, you're falling down. Gosh, this is so easy and effective. Yeah, so they mostly will just slide down and then the few that manage to make it on the poles can fall down like that, like you he just did. We, you don't think we can just use normal cube? Why do we have to use wedge and arrow? The thing about the wedge and arrow, if you put just like a vertical thing there, oh, they, don't think it as a path. they don't see it as a path. Ooh. So they see that as a path. That's it. You know how much I hate it, right? I know, that's why I made sure to include it in this build. But, it, but, you know, it actually, you know, makes sense for this one. It, and I'm not using it where they're just running, like, along the length of it. They're, like, uh, going over it. And they still see it as a path, path yeah. in that direction. So you're just using it to trick them to slide down while you, your, best, okay, your base I'm is suspended. I'm going to build X1 myself. You can go back to your work, Mr. Hero Knight. Thank you. I want to build, Miss, I Miss, Miss I want, Taco I Bear. build in peace. Go, shoot, shoot. Okay, I'm going. I'm shooing. You will shoot. I have been shooed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah, so peace. Ah, so peaceful on my own. So I can do whatever I want without someone talking to me all the time.
gonna say what I did? I'm gonna try to hide, did I? Are you going to amaze me? Because it is all wood, I think it can tolerate less weight with similar design. So I made some tweaks and remove some unnecessary parts. I really gotta beat the way in. Why there's more zombies? Oh, this is desert. The game stage is higher. I didn't remove your mod. Oh, you still have the mod in? Yeah. I was gonna make it a bit harder. Hopefully you don't have any uh, nasty stuff coming. It's working. I don't want to be locked at. Well, you know what? You don't have a reputation to ruin, so the only direction you can go is up. Okay, thank you for the truth. It's working. I think so too. Just a platform is a bit ugly and not finished. I mean, early game, it doesn't really matter too much what the platform on the other end is. Oh, it's working. Yep. Even in desert. Yeah, even in desert with wood blocks. Yeah, still working. Cool. It seems zombie is beating on the bottom surroundings. Yeah, let him get distracted, you know? As they fall down, they go into rage mode. I can't believe this works. First attempt without you and without any test. You did, you did make it work. Oh, you have a visitor. Oh, he fell. <laughs> I'm slightly proud of myself. I'm very proud of you too, Taco. Working very well. Oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> I just said that! Uh-oh! You see, one recommendation I would have made is at an early game stage, the back blocks don't really serve much of a purpose. You should have... Uh -huh. Put it in front where it's more important. Yeah. So that would be the only suggestion I would make to tweak on the design. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks for the suggestion. Yeah, because the back it's one's... even better for the stability since the front is closer to the support. Yeah, the exactly. Corners. Yeah. So you don't really need the back ones. You get rid of all the corner ones and then just like properly block the front off and then you'll be fine. Then you won't have any issues. Yeah, the back ones are not doing anything on a low game stage board because their only purpose is to prevent you from getting hit by vultures and, and cops. So... So you really just need some place to stand on and potential zombie running. Yeah, just the platform with just the covering the front is all you need early game. You don't need the back part. So you, you kind of save the weight for the wrong part of yeah. the platform. But yeah, I mean, it still works just uh, even with the, the front not being very optimal. But yeah, you just fix that little minor thing and it would work well. A little room for improvement, but very good. Very good. Thank you. Mm hmm. So do you think this base is successful in your standard? Well, I mean, AFK already failed because he got in. That one zombie got in. Look at that killed him. I know, but I'm saying like AFK wise, you failed. Yeah, AFK wise, I failed. But this base definitely works with all the wood. Oh, it definitely can work. You have to do very little work. Only like the random zombie here and there is going to get in. Uh, so but... we should add this in our playthrough. Yeah, we could definitely do this in a playthrough. Question, how did you get in there since you blocked off the front? with the blocks. That's why I used the hatches so you could jump in. No, there is a big open side. There's nothing on the side. Yeah, but then how did you get in there? Yeah, how do you get you in? You just jump onto the bar and then go there. No, I'm saying like how, if you're wanting to enter the base, like you're coming from the ground, you want to enter the base, it's horde, horde's coming. How do you get in here? Just jump from the roof. You have to show me. You have okay. to prove it. Prove it to me. You won! Congratulations! All right, now show me. You're not doing anything cheating like having like parkour maxed out or anything, right? No, I did not put any skill points into anything. And I'm super encumbered right now. You can you can unencumber yourself to give yourself a chance. I'm sure there's a lot of useless things in your inventory. Okay, let's see. Like you can get rid of the stone. You can get rid of the gas. You can get rid of the stone axe. They have plenty of useless stuff in there. You get rid of some of those blocks. You don't need all that. Hey, okay, base, you don't need ammo. You don't need murky water. What are you, would still addicted to that? Uh -huh. There you go. See, you're already unencumbered. Wasn't that easy? Cool. All right. All right, show me. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. I can laugh. Ah! Amazing! Congratulations! See? This is the right, perfect way to enter my base without any stupid hatch doors. All right, good job, good job. Yep, then all I need to do is try to jump on the bar and land on this. You can even jump up the wedge narrow. I hate wedge narrows. I'm just saying you can. I don't need to. Wow, I'm just that off. Okay, I think I demonstrated well for the awesome simple design. Well, you can drive off into the sunset victorious. So everybody, if I can build it, you should all be able to do it. Yeah, that is quite literally true. Taco can do it. You all have no excuse. 
And if you fail or Taco succeeded? Tree Mayos. <laughs> exactly. I wasn't going to say that, but okay. They're, 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 well said, Taco. Well said. No, because, because it is really that easy and really bad in building. Really You're not cool. as bad as you think. No, I'm, this base really proves itself. I was a bit skeptical when you build on the cliff. I feel it is a bit cheating. No oh, one really love that. What do you mean no one love that idea? How often you go out of your way to build a base on a cliff? Who the hell wouldn't? It's awesome! I definitely would not do that. I think there would be plenty of people out there who would love to have a cliffside base. No. Yeah. Hey, let us know in the comment if you agree with me or you're nice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this and would like to see more. A special thank you to our awesome patrons whose generosity literally powers this channel and allows us to improve our content quality. This is Eerie Knight signing off. See you all in the next video.